Oh wow, I think it says I think it says London on my sweatshirt. I don't I don't know if you guys can see that. I didn't even I didn't even like know that this was there. Hello and welcome back to the channel, fam. And as always, I am your host, Vortex from MobileMusicPro.com your home for mobile music production. In today's video, we'll be going over some apps that can help you create your very own drum sounds from scratch. Now, typically these apps are referred to as drum synths, since they are just basically synthesizers specifically designed to produce drum-like sounds. Now, there are a ton of Groovebox and drum machine-like apps out there, but there's actually not that many drum synths. So we ended up going through a bunch of them in order to give you our favorites. But remember folks, these are just our picks, so make sure to leave the apps that you use to create custom drum sounds in the comments below. Now some of these apps are AUV3 compatible and some are just standalone apps. But we do still think that all of these apps can be great for creating custom drum sounds for your own productions, as well as creating custom sample packs for other people to use in their productions. Now it has been a little while since we've done a top list video on this channel, so make sure to like and subscribe if you are enjoying this content. And remember that every thumbs up helps this video get found by more and more people, which helps us get more and more people into mobile music production. And now with that intro aside, let's get right into these top five apps for creating custom drum sounds from scratch. Okay, the first app we'll be talking about today is Bass 808 Synth by AudioKit Pro, available currently for $2.99, though this is a limited edition app and will have its price increased after a few more months. Bass 808 Synth is a lightweight and powerful synthesizer created for earth-shattering sub-bass lines and making your own custom electronic drum sounds. This app actually ends up working great for pretty much any genre of music, including pop, trap, rock, and more. We recently did a Let's Play video on this app, so definitely make sure to check that out if you want to learn more about this app. Now the interface for a Bass 808 synth is actually very, very simple, which is great because that makes it really intuitive. We only have two main pages to worry about here, which is the page you see here called Main, and then the More page after that. This app comes stocked with a ton of presets, as you can see here, more than 100 presets. So you can really get up and going as quick as possible. The preset we have pulled up here is Kick It Lower, and as you guessed it, this is a kick preset. So if we start playing with this, you can see that that is definitely a kick sound, and this synth makes it really easy to start changing parameters pretty quickly, as it gives you most of your bread and butter right away up front on the left hand side, which consists of a length parameter and the modulation parameters of depth and time. You'll find that these are the controls that you'll be working with the most. So we can quickly play with these parameters real quick. So again, you can see that the length and modulation parameters are where you're going to fine tune your kick or your 808 sound. And then we have this great button on the far right hand side, which is this super sustain. This super sustain feature essentially is just a sustain that allows your note to be sustained indefinitely as long as you are holding it down. So we currently do have this setting enabled. And as you can hear, the sound does remain until we let go of the note. This setting is often used more with the 808 type of sounds and the sub bass sounds more than the kick sounds. You can also change your wave algorithm at the bottom. We currently have that set to sine, which is the most often used shape for creating bass sounds. And as you can see, it will come with all the classics that you need, including the sign that we just mentioned and the square wave, triangle wave and FM wave. And of course, even the pulse and saw waves. All of these parameters that you see here are MIDI assignable. And as you can see, we do have this pulled up and loaded up inside of Cubasis 3 as an AUV3 instrument. And as we quickly bounce over to the more page here, you can see that we do have another great set of easy to use controls such as the envelope, bit crush, and filter. Again, all of these controls singularly focused on creating bass and drum sounds. So as you can see, you can really get some interesting and very usable sounds out of this bass 808 synth. 
Now we're kind of going to cheat here a bit and show you a little bit more than five apps because Ruiz Maker and Ruiz Maker FM are so similar, we're going to sort of lump them together as one app for the purposes of this video. The main difference between these two apps is that one uses analog synthesis and one uses FM synthesis, but they function very much the same and are both priced at $4.99. Now, Ruizmaker is a unique drum synth plugin which is coupled with a creative Euclidean sequencer when run in standalone mode. We're not going to be talking about that sequencer today as we will be running this in AUV3 mode inside of Cubasis 3. And Ruizmaker FM is Ruizmaker's crazy twin sister designed for people who want to design their own percussion sounds from scratch. Both apps offer a simple yet flexible synthesis engine that lets you create anything from snare drums, kick drums, and spacey toms to weird and unconventional percussive sounds and effects. And just like the previous app 808 Bass Synth, most of these apps today will have pretty relatively simple user interfaces because they are so singularly focused on one thing. So right away at the bottom we can see that we have these really nice colored pads that are used for triggering sounds within the app. And the preset we have pulled up right now is, I believe, the 80s analog. So let's take a look at some of these presets first before we start playing with these settings. We can see that we do have a nice variety here in the classic category. We have 70s, 80s, and 90s, and then a vintage kit. And then under electric, we have a bunch of different choices like electro kit 1, 2, and 3, heavy kit, mayday kit, soul kit, a bunch of great kits in here. And then under specials, we have some things like boom kit, electric kit, noisy kit, and trap kit. So lots of variety to choose from here. Let's go ahead and go back to the, actually let's try the trap kit just for fun. Let's go to specials and then trap kit and see what this sounds like. So that's a pretty nice sounding kit. We can now start messing with some of the settings over here. If you look at the top right hand corner, you can see that's where the reverb and volume exists. So we can just start playing with some of this reverb real quick. Pretty cool. All right, let's start playing with some of this bit crush sound. Pretty interesting. Having all of these effects right there at your fingertips is very handy. And of course, no drum machine would be complete without the drive knob. Gotta have that drive knob to really crank those sounds. And the final feature we'll just briefly talk about is the randomize feature. So if you click on that randomize button, that will randomize all of these parameters. So in addition to randomizing the parameters, that will also pull in random sounds from the presets. So as you can see here, we have a 90 snare which pulls up when you tap it. And then here we have the maracas. But if we click randomize, we'll click on two again, and you see now it's an 80s snare. And number three is now an 80s cowbell. So this ends up working great when you're trying to find some inspiration or trying to find a sound that you're looking for. And that's really all there is to this synth. We're going to check out the other Ruiz Maker FM synth now. But like all of these drum synths today, you can see that they are very simple to use and very useful. Okay, now we have Ruiz Maker FM pulled up. And again, very similar looking to the original Ruiz Maker app, but with this new FM synthesis powering it. You can see we have a couple new controls here, like an oscillator and a modulator, as well as a saturation knob. So let's quickly check out the presets and see what they have to offer us. In the electric section, a bunch of different presets here. Go to the basic, got some EDM kits, some minimals, subtle house. And then under special, we have some far out and electro glitch and a couple other things in here. Very cool. So let's choose the basic and go to the EDM kit one. Tap above the presets to close that. All right, let's hear what that sounds like. All right, very cool. And just like the original Ruiz Maker app, all of these controls are MIDI mappable. And next up we have Synth Drum Kick by Design by Paul for $3.99. Whether you're looking to create solid punchy house kicks, deep dark tuned trap bass kicks, or any other EDM genre, Synth Kick has you covered. Synth Kick sounds are 100% synth generated, coupled with all of the controls you need being right at your fingertips. It's easier than ever to get the kick sound that you want. 
And this app, just like our other previous apps that we discussed today, really has everything inside of one page. It was only the base 808 that actually had two pages so far. Most of these apps today will have all of their controls in a single page. And Synth Drum is no different. So as you can see here, we have the pitch on the left hand side. Below that, we have the pitch mod. To the right of that, we have the amp where you can adjust your attack, hold, and release. And below that, we have a noise section, which is going to end up coming in very handy for creating snares. And to the right of that, we have two E. EQs, and then finally the master volume. So let's just hear what the default preset sounds like right now. All right, very cool. Let's pull up the presets actually and see what we got here on the left hand side. We can see we have a number of things to choose from over here, such as snares, hats, effects kicks and more. So we can go through a couple of these real quick right now. We're on Boomer right now. Some snares in here. And some hats. All right, very cool. As you can see, this is a very versatile synth and you can get a lot of different sounds out of it. And again, like all of the other apps so far today, this is synthesis driven, which means you do not have to worry about samples, which of course ends up making the app very lightweight. And a drum synth would not be complete without the ability to change your pitch over here. We have our root note at the top right hand corner. And then from there, you can modify it further with the pitch mod controls below that. So all in all, another great versatile synth for creating your own custom drum sounds. Okay, the next app we'll be talking about today is Elastic Drums by Oliver Gretzky, available for $9.99. Elastic Drums is a music app showcasing an interactive drum kit that enables you to create a huge range of rhythmic grids, ranging from classical analog drum kits up to experimental soundscapes. It contains six channels of high-quality synthesized drum sounds, a step sequencer, and four effect channels. All the important control parameters are automatable. The result is elastic drum composition with a unique character. So we have the app pulled up here in full screen. Both this app and the next app we'll discuss are not AUV3 compatible. So you will have to be able to bring them into your DAW via either AudioBus or InterApp Audio. Now this app is a full on drum machine and sequencer, but you can also use it as a drum synth as well. So we'll just quickly play the preset we have pulled up here. Now the preset that we do have pulled up here is Basic Groove 2. If we tap on our presets at the top of the screen in the center, we can see that it will bring up all of our factory presets. And as you can see, there is a number to choose from, like looks like at least over 100 presets in here as well. Now as you can hear, the presets that we have chosen so far are mostly electronic genre based. But like the previous drum synths, you can tweak the parameters to pretty much make a sound that will fit any genre. Now if we look on the right hand side of the screen, you'll notice that that is where our instruments are. So we currently have the kick selected as number one. If we tap on number two, you'll find that that is the clap. Number three is the hi-hat. Number four is the FM4 pop. Number five is the bass. And number six is the tom. Now of course, you can make any one of these anything you want. This is just what we have set up for this particular preset. If I tap through these one, again one more time, you'll notice that on the left hand side where it says the type of the instrument that it is, you'll see that it says the word synth. That means that it is actually using a synthesis engine to produce that sound. Elastic Drums does come with a number of synth engines, all specifically designed to create very specific drum sounds. So they have one separately for the kick and one separately for the snare for example but you can certainly mix in regular samples as well. In fact, if we go over here and tap on the synth, you can see that we can choose from a number of things on the left hand side, including sounds from other presets, but we have this option on the bottom called sampler. And if we tap that, you can see that that will bring up the factory samples window over here that we can use one of their factory samples from Elastic Drums, or we can import our very own by clicking on the import button. We can even record one in real time by clicking the record button. So we'll quickly reset this back to the original sound. And now we're back to using the synth engine for the kick.
All of the parameters that you will be messing with to adjust your sound will be right here in the center, including things like the pitch, tone, decay, and release. In addition to these synth-specific parameters, you can actually go to the effects page and apply additional effects for each instrument. And you have all of the classic effects here that you would expect, such as bit crusher, comb, flanger, gate, stutter, reverb, and more. So we'll go back to the instrument page here. We can quickly solo each one of these tracks by clicking on the solo button as well. So let's go ahead and solo this kick and start playing with some of these parameters. So as you can see, you really can mess with all the classic drum synth parameters, such as the pitch, tone, decay, release, overdrive, noise, and more. You can choose your wave shape right here where it says square, and of course your standard low pass filter. Lots of settings to play with, endless possibilities, yet another great app that you can use to create your very own custom drum sounds. All right, and the final app we'll be discussing today is Seek Beats by Rodrigo Yanez for $11.99. With Seek Beats, you can create 100% synthesized electronic drum loops that sound alive, noisy, and musical. Feel the freedom to tweak the sounds and be able to go back and forth by using snapshots. Find mutations of the whole sound instantly with one slide of your finger via the randomizer. Seek Beats comes with eight voices, each with different synth parameters and envelopes. Now we do have Seek Beats pulled up here, and again, we have it pulled up in standalone mode because like the previous app, this app also does not support AUV3. However, you can still bring it into your DAW via Audio Bus and InterApp Audio. So we have one of the default patterns pulled up here. If we go to File, we can see that this is where we can actually load different sessions, and we have the example one pulled up. So let's just hear what that sounds like real quick. All right, and like the previous app, this is also a full-blown drum sequencer, in addition to being a drum synth for creating custom drum sounds. So you can tap in your notes and the sequencer here, like so. Each one of these numbers on the left will represent a drum sound, so there is a total of eight drum sounds. You can mute and solo each one of these individual sounds on the left-hand side here with the mute category and the solo category. So we can mute three and solo one if we'd like to. And to undo that, we just tap them again. Now what we want to focus on for this video is again creating those custom drum sounds. So to tweak any one of these sounds, you'll notice we have these numbers also in the top right hand corner. Each one of these represents one of those sounds. So if we tap on one, this will bring up all of the parameters for the first drum sound. To hear what that sound sounds like, you just tap the blue square at the top. And to see the envelope settings, we tap the show envelope button on the left hand side. And to go back to the parameters, we tap it one more time. So this being a drum synth, you can see we have all of our standard parameters here, including filter, noise, pan, and gain. In addition though to having all of these parameters for each one of these eight banks, we can apply additional effects by clicking on the EFX button at the top. This has all your additional effects such as delay, decay, reverb, and more. So to go back to our previous screen, we'll go back to number one here, the first bank, and tap on that. As before, you can see that all of these settings can be changed in real time, so we can tap on the sound, and then change the tune, and tap on it again. We have our overdrive down here. Our noise on the left hand side, and then our filter on the bottom. Now, in addition to this being a drum synth and allowing you to tweak all of these parameters, this particular app also has a pretty cool random setting. So to find this random setting, we'll click on the Rand button in the top left-hand corner, just to the right of the sequencer. The sequencer will bring us back to the original screen that we saw in the beginning. 
So we'll click on Rand again, and now we can see that we have random settings for each one of the eight banks. You can even randomize them all at once with the All button over here. And Seekbeats makes it really easy to experiment because at any given time, you can create a new snapshot of your current parameters by clicking on Take Snap. This will give you the option to take a snapshot for just one or all of your current drum sounds. So let's hear what this sounds like. Let's start messing with the kick first. We'll go to the sequencer and we will solo the kick and we'll click play. So you can hear it changing all sorts of parameters in there from the pitch to the overdrive and more. Now when you are choosing your random settings, you can actually choose how many parameters you'd like it to randomize with this dial on the right hand side. Here we have it currently set to mini. If we drag this to the left, you can see that it goes from none to some to mini to most and then finally to all. So it becomes really easy to decide how much tweaking you'd like to do for each individual sound. And that is Seekbeats, ladies and gentlemen, a great app for creating electronic sounds from scratch. All right, welcome back everybody. We really hope you enjoyed our demonstration of those apps and we hope you can find some of them useful in your productions. It's always nice to end up creating your own custom sounds for your productions that nobody else has heard before because it really has become all too easy to take advantage of the now ubiquitous access to sample packs thanks to the internet and now Splice, which just recently became available on the iPhone and iPad. But even still, there's just really nothing quite like dialing in that perfect sound for your production, even though it does end up usually being way too time consuming. But hey, please let us know in the comments below if you still found this video useful. And also please let us know what apps you guys use to create custom drum sounds. And again, we just wanted to thank all of you so, so much for all the likes and all the subs and for getting us over 1000 subscribers. We just wanted to remind you again that we so much appreciate you fam and that this is just the very beginning. So we do really hope that you stick around, subscribe to the channel, and come on this journey with us. So until next time, stay safe out there, folks, and keep talking music, and we'll see you later.